Hey everybody, this is Mike, um, back with part two of the Show Your Roll versus uh, Moya brand uh, review. So um, I used them about maybe five or six times each um, at class, you know, about a two hour class with maybe, for me, about three or four rounds of rolling. And um, so um, first, um, they both held up really well. And um, the Moya, which is probably the one that's least well known, um, held up fine. And before I go through anything, uh, as you can tell, I took the patch off. Um, once I started wearing it, I didn't like the lapel patch. Um, it was a little too um, fat, I thought, too wide. And maybe if they would have made it a little bit thinner, I would have liked it better, more like the competitor has their embroidery on theirs. And um, another thing in terms of fit, um, the Moya has continued to um, shrink. Um, slightly every wash, even though I cold wash and hang dry, uh, both the top and the pants. So that's something to take uh, into account. Um, but it's a comfortable top. But um, the main difference was that um, the pants, which are the cotton uh, pants, you know, the heavier cotton, uh, for me, they were just um, too heavy. It made me feel too slow. And so, um, if you're thinner and you don't wear knee pads, they're probably fine, or if you're used to them. But uh, for me, uh, even though they held up really well, they just felt too hot and a little kind of binding. And then again, um, I would uh, still recommend that they put another loop towards the end of the of the the bungee there, so when you cinch it up, it doesn't you know go up into your side. And uh, Again, I would I would have liked um, Moya to have the uh, option of you know ordering ripstop pants instead of the cotton, because for me ripstop uh, is really helpful. And when we talk about uh, ripstop pants and stuff, I mean it just goes to show how subjective things are. Here's the yank, and um, the yank didn't shrink really at all. I mean it has shrunk very little, even though I tried to get it to shrink because it was a little too long in the sleeves at first. Now it's about fine. The way it's cut is, you know, it um, hangs a little bit differently than, say, the corral. It doesn't hang, like, straight down on your arm. It kind of um, conforms to your bicep a little. So you get a little bit of a... Um, um, a little bit off the, the wrist a little bit. Still, I could like it, like... Um, I would like it to be, like, another half inch uh, off the wrist. Um, but it's fine. And um, because it hasn't shrunk down that much, uh, compared to the Moya now, the Moya is the more of the fitted gi. That is, it's more snug around the armpits and the shoulders than um, the Shoya Roll. So the Shoya Roll has, uh, has a bigger feel, which is good for me. I feel like I have more room in the, the shoulders. And um, other than some minor, you know, I haven't used them too long. But other than some minor um, discoloration that comes about from washing and just general use of the dyeing process, um, it's not too bad. And I'm pretty um, good with my geese. I don't, you know, I'm a hobbyist. I don't uh, train like two or three times a day and every day. So um, still real good. Uh, the pants held up um, pretty good. Uh, the ripstop, even though I used them to do like... Um, let me get them over here. See Mickey Mouse back there? I used them to do, uh, you know, drills. Like passing the guard and stuff. And bullfighter passing and leg drags. Still, what I've encountered, and i got a couple other reviews coming up. For ripstop pants, these are still the thinnest ripstop that I've come about. And still the most comfortable. And they're a little wide. Uh, which I like because of the knee pads and stuff, and I'm kind of overweight right now, so that really helps. Um, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna you know work out two or three times a day, every single day, use this uh, the gi a lot and this type of material, then you know it probably not gonna last too long. But for me, it's pretty damn good, and it's just a little long um, in the ends here. Maybe I could hem it up like right there, and that'd be good. But 
even without being hemmed up, it's still really comfortable and fits well. So, um, you know, this kind of just goes to show how subjective things are. Because of the pants on the Moya, I felt that overall this was more of a, a warmer gi. You know, like it felt like it held uh, your body uh, heat more. But it actually, you know, when you just go top to top, it's fine. But it's those pants are the ones that do it. And when you wear the ripstop pants with the, the shoulder roll, it feels like everything's lighter, you can move faster, and I have more room, so that's just totally subjective. It has nothing to do with uh, workmanship. So there you go. Held up well, no big differences. Uh, for me, just a matter of cut, and because I'm a little overweight right now, the Moya's become a little bit snugger, but that's good for people who want to do competitions. So, you know, um, just goes to show not that much difference in manufacturing nowadays between these two. Both coming out of Pakistan. Both really nice. And I recommend them both. Alright? Take care. Later.